save too from Dean Anastasiades. Trimboli across for Kelic, great ball. And that was a terrific goal, except for the fact that he was offside. But it was certainly a well-worked piece of play from South Melbourne there. All the way there, and well played from Demianis. Nice ball, Kelic. Should have scored, really. But credit to Peter Brasincic. And the best moment for South Melbourne. And it was great play from Bill Demianis to set things up there. Cardozo bursting into the box. Can he pull it back? He does. And that is a great take from Dean Anastasiadis. And it was Ndongo Keller, the striker coming in, who has collided with the goalkeeper. Keller did well, very well indeed, to keep possession there. Ndongo Keller! Great try. It's Kenneth with the corner. And here's a goal, Cardozo! Across the goal. And he won't get a much better chance than that. Third corner from Sakanis. But right to the far post where Haniotis caused problems. And that was the miss hit there. Schliffkis out wide. As a reader to the flick on. And that is a great save. It's gone in the net. And the goal has been given for West Adelaide. Initially, it looked like Anastasiadis had saved a great shot from Tsikinis. And that was a brilliant save there from Anastasiadis, but he just lost it somewhere. And the dogger killer it was who got the final touch. And Lazarid, he's hardly free all his first half, but that just and a yard of space, a little flick on. As you say, Anastasiadis, another great save. Tsikinis. Surrounded by play. Cardozo with a good shot, and it's a great goal from Pablo Cardozo. But Cardozo was surrounded by players before the left foot curler. And you can see there that it clearly did go over the goal line before bouncing out. And it's a good decision by John Papa Nicholas and his linesman. But credit to Cardozo there, and that's a great shot from our camera on the side of the pitch. Right hand side of defence for Conanthopoulos. <laughs> South Melbourne kick off playing from left to right against the strong breeze. So they really are up against it in more ways than one. <laughs> Kellich begins things. Peterson looking across for Trimboli. West Adelaide come forward again. They've looked very strong when they are moving forward. They are so adept at bringing their forward players into the game. None more so than the Donga Keller, who had a sparkling first 45 minutes for the home side. He was rewarded with a goal, as was Pablo Cardoza. We haven't seen much from Awaratifi in an attacking sense, but he has kept Lazaridis quiet. It has to be said. It's Giannis going forward, and he's gone down. And the referee has given a penalty. And this could be a lifeline for South Melbourne. And it will be an interesting replay here. We see there that Butiani was, he was pulled back quite clearly. And it was a good decision there from John Papanicolas. Certainly accentuated, perhaps, by the way Butianis fell to the ground. But a good decision from the referee. And Frank Garrett knows that this is a chance for his side to get back into this match. Con Butianis. Just a slight delay, which is just adds to the drama of the occasion. The nerves from Butianis and Blasicic. Still here now, there's some off the ball happenings just outside the 18-yard box between Haniotis and Awaratifi. 
and this will play more on Gutiérrez's nerves than the goalkeepers, I think. Now finally he gets a chance. Good penalty. Well placed. And Gutiérrez gets up Melbourne back into this match. penalty this right in the corner no chance for Peter Blasinchic there and 24 minutes into the second half well never have we been more focused on penalties before than this season and we really are studying as our coaches the different techniques signifying the time's up Certainly looks like time is up for South Melbourne. Unless they can really produce something extra special here. And they can't. And it's four points to West Adelaide. And congratulations go to George Cheniotis who had an outstanding game in the heart of the West Adelaide defence. It was the Dongo Keller and Pablo Cardozo who had their names on the score sheet. They were two outstanding players today for West Adelaide. Sufkis as well played well in midfield. But South Melbourne just not able to recover after the setbacks of their playing personnel before the game. Congratulations there for Awaratipi who did a good job on Lazaridis but wasn't able to have any impact on the game himself in forward positions. 